Hello my friends. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss on career opportunities and salary in telecom field. This is going to be the best informative video for you. So stay tuned. After completion of degree or diploma in telecommunication, electronics and communication, we have enough opportunities. I will guide you for required certifications and most important aspect and that is how much we can earn either as fresher or being an experienced professional. This sounds interesting. Let's go ahead. After completing the degree or a diploma, you can choose either IT or telecom field. This selection is purely based on your interest. If you decide to go with the IT certification, you can get CCNA, CCNP, CTNS, CTA, and CSSP that is cybersecurity. If you decide to go with a telecom field, you can get RF engineer training and certification, you can join any manufacturing or equipment service provide company and get a training there. You can join companies providing services for security equipment like CCTV, access control. And one another best option is to join oil and gas company. Let's explore the career path in IT field. As explained, you can choose CCNA certification. CCNP certification which can be obtained after completing CCNA. CTNS certification that is the combination of IT and telecom field. CTA certification can be obtained by passing the CTA exam. Cybersecurity that is CISSP and can obtained after having some years of experience working in security field. Let me brief you for all IT courses. CCNA, Cisco Certified Network Associate is valid worldwide. You can work with many telecom companies either in IT or telecom field and it should be renewed after three years. CCNP, Cisco Certified Network Professional, which is next level of CCNA. CCNP engineers are in more demand and having good work-life balance and it should be renewed after three years. CTNS and CTA both are having good demand in telecom industry. Cybersecurity is the most challenging field and many people are choosing for their bright future. Now, the most important question in your mind. That is how much these IT professional are earning. I have taken an average of yearly salary in US dollar considering India, Gulf and other countries. So, let's go ahead. I have categorized the yearly salary slabs into two that is the fresher and three plus years experienced person. As a fresher, CCNA engineer earns between 700 US dollar to 10,000 US dollar per year. CCNP engineer earns between 800 US dollar to 12,000 US dollar per year. CTNS professional earns between 10,000 US dollar to 12,000 US dollar per year. CTA professional earns between 10,000 US dollar to 14,000 US dollar per year. Cybersecurity professional earns between 10,000 US dollar to 14,000 US dollar per year and that is good enough. After having 3 plus years of experience you can earn a good package. CCNA professional would be earning 10,000 US dollar to 15,000 US dollar per year. CCNP professional would be earning 15,000 US dollar to 20,000 US dollar per year. CTNS professional would be earning 15,000 US dollar to 22,000 US dollar per year. CTA professional would be earning 15,000 US dollar to 20,000 US dollar per year. Cybersecurity professional would be earning 15,000 US dollar to 20,000 US dollar per year. One of my friend is earning just double what I mentioned. But I have considered the average salary. Telecom field that is GSM network, RF that is radio frequency and 3G or 4G network. One can go for a RF engineer certification as many companies are providing training and certification. RF optimization and RF planning and surveys are the main jobs of a RF engineer. Vendor-specific training is being provided by different companies like ABB, Siemens, Yakagawa, Schneider, LNT and many other companies. NOC engineer monitors large computer networks and servers for problems from a central location or remotely. RF system design engineer design, deploy and optimize wireless communication systems. RF technology or RF optimization survey is carried to ensure the desired network coverage from the telecom tower. If you are having a chance to get job-oriented training for vendor-specific equipment, 
you will have a bright career as soon as the company is well known in the industry. NOC engineer is job is in demand and you can work in any telecom network provider company like Vodafone, Omontel, DU Telecom and many other operators. Network engineers are who install and configure the radio equipment for telecom network. I started my career as a network engineer in 2008 in Africa. RF system design engineer is the most challenging and demanding profession among all telecom jobs. RF system design engineer design, deploy and optimize wireless communication systems before actual installation takes place. Now again the most important question in our minds, and that is how much we can earn either as a fresher or a experienced professional in telecom field. Again, let me remind you I have prepared this salary structure considering average yearly salary structure in India, Gulf and Asian countries. As being a fresher, RF engineer can earn US$7,000 to US$10,000 per year. Field engineer can earn US$5,000 to US$8,000 per year. NOC engineer can earn US$10,000 to US$14,000 per year. Network engineer can earn US$8,000 to US$12,000 per year. RF designing engineer can earn US$10,000 to US$14,000 per year and that is being a fresher. That's good. After having experience of more than 3 years you will start earning good salary. RF engineer can earn US$10,000 to US$15,000 per year. Field engineer can earn US$8,000 to US$12,000 per year. NOC engineer can earn US$14,000 to US$18,000 per year. Network engineer can earn US$12,000 to US$16,000 per year. But better to obtain CCNA. RF designing engineer can earn US$14,000 to US$20,000 per year. As a RF designing engineer you can work and settle in many European countries and you will be earning the double what I mentioned. My friends, I could not cover another very exciting career opportunity in telecom and that is fiber optics network. FOC is having a worldwide reputation due to high speed and being a reliable network. Please comment below if you want to check the career opportunities and salary structure in fiber optics field. I am very excited to provide the free giveaway. I will choose random comment from the comment section and provide the personal career advice. If you want to know the free IT and telecom online courses which can develop your career, just comment below. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content do not forget to subscribe so you won't miss the upcoming videos. Share this to your family and friends to help them decide their career path.